MedGemma is a Gemma 3 variant optimized for medical text and image comprehension from Google. MedGemma can be fine-tuned to improve performance for medical text and image applications and used as a privacy-preserving tool within agentic systems. So you have two variants over here. You have a 4 billion parameter multi-model model adaptable for medical image classification and interpretation. You have a 27 billion parameter text-only model optimized for inference time computations. You can do medical image classification, you can do medical image interpretation, you can do text-based medical question answering. Now, medical image classification is adaptable for use in classifying medical images including radiology, digital pathology, fundus and skin images. Interpretation is adaptable for use in generating medical image reports or answering natural language questions about medical images. Text question, text-based medical question answering is for Use cases that require medical knowledge include inpatient preclinical interviews, triaging, clinical decision support, and summarization. Now you can try out this model. This model is released on Hugging Face. You need to apply for access over here with your Hugging Face account. You get access to the model. This is a gated model. So here you have this MedGemma 4 billion, you know, a quantized model available. Uh, there is this notebook from Google. Uh, so this is a notebook for you know this medgemma so let's go look into the notebook so you need a gpu instance for this particular notebook and you need to have your hugging face access key over here in secrets right you can create an access key in hugging face and you can put it in your secrets over here and you are ready to go over here so first you need to actually authenticate your hugging face token over here once you do that you install accelerated bits uh, and bytes and you install libraries. And then here you are getting the four bit quantized version, right? Four billion IT, uh, Google MedGemma. So this is the quantized version. Uh, so this is uh, what we actually use over here, right? So you are actually trying to load the model over here, right? Then uh, you are going to look at only the text only variant over here because the other model is 27 million parameters and that requires a hundred or something to run. So this is an example of an X-ray image over here. And you are asking MedGemma to explain this image. The code is given over here. You can directly use the transformers pipeline, uh, image text to text, and you can give the image input, right? You are reading in the image over here. You are creating this, what you call messages. And based on that, you are actually asking this model to explain this X-ray. So it looks at the X-ray and says that this looks like a normal adult chest. The lungs appear clear with no obvious signs of consolidation. It gives the specific findings of this particular X-ray report. So this is a preliminary image interpretation based on a single image. So we are using the 4 billion parameter model. It is multi-model. We are not using the text only 27 billion parameter model over here. So this was an example which Google had given. Let's try out with our own X-ray. Uh, first, let me cover the other things. Later, we'll try with our own use cases. Okay. So next is you can also run this model directly whereby you, uh, you know, um, what you call you load the model and processor and then you do like this, right? You have, you do apply chat template on the messages and you generate the output. So again, it gives the same output over here for that X-ray image, right? Now, this is a text conversation where we have this text prompt. Text only we are going to try. How do you differentiate between bacterial from viral pneumonia? And uh, we are creating these messages. We are giving it to the text generation pipeline and we get the output like this. As a medical assistant, I can't provide a definite diagnosis, but there are some key differences between bacterial and viral pneumonia and it is trying to explain. So you can run the model directly also uh, and then it tries to give that explanation. Okay. So we can try out our own queries over here to see how this model performs. So I want to try out this prompt. So I say I have an itchy throat with white spots on my tonsils, no fever, but I get throat pain if I talk for longer. What is the my diagnosis? Okay, so let me run this and let's see what is the output over here. So this model is currently generating its output. Let's wait for the output. It has executed. It takes around 47 seconds to generate the output over here. And it says, okay, based on your symptoms, itchy throat with white spots and throat pain, it is mostly a strep throat. 
And here are the this thing. This is a classic stain of strep throat. The spots are typically surrounded by red area. This is not a definitive diagnosis. Other possibilities: viral pharyngitis, other bacterial infections. See a doctor. So it has given the right advice over here. So this is another query which I am putting over here. I have this. Sorry, this should be feeling. I have this feeling of head spinning when I get up from the bed or when I am going to lie down on the right side. This subsides after some time. What could be the possible diagnosis? So let's run this prompt. Let's run the inference. This is going to take some time. Let's wait for the output. So it has generated the output. It took 55 seconds. So for this query of feeling of head spinning, it gives possible causes as orthostatic hypotension, low blood pressure upon standing. Uh, it could be it is similar to vertigo. That is what it says over here. It could be vertigo. And uh, the fact that spinning occurs with positional changes is a strong indicator. It could be this. So it's actually given a good, again, a good interpretation for this query. It is given a good uh, set of results. We will try a different image. So this is an image of pleural effusion, which is collection of fluids in the lungs. Uh, so I want to try this particular image over here. So I put that URL over here and I say describe this X-ray. So we format the conversation, we create the messages, we run the model with pipeline API and here is the output. So describe this X-ray. So here it says the X-ray shows significant bilateral pulmonary opacities obscuring the lung fields, suggests a large pleural effusion on both sides of chest. Specific findings, bilateral pleural effusion. The most prominent finding is the presence of large bilateral pleural effusion. Differential diagnosis could be cardiac failure, nephrotic syndrome, liver disease. So I took this image from over here and here are the findings. Large bilateral pleural effusion, X-ray and ultrasound, pathology is this thing, discussion, you know, it's present over here. So it's actually given a very good output over here, right? So this is Medgema. You can also go and try out Medgema if you're working in the healthcare domain. So this model is excellent. It can be fine-tuned to improve performance for medical text image application. So you can do medical image classification, medical image interpretation. You can do text-based medical image, medical question answering. Comes in two flavors, a 4 billion multi-model model adaptable for medical image classification and interpretation, a 27 billion parameter text-only model optimized for inference time computation. Hope this video is useful. I'll be putting all the relevant links in the description of the video. Do check it out. See you in another video.